in this video i am going to show you how to configure wi-fi dms and port forwarding in netlink hg323 tac router first we need to log in with the router gui here i am already configured with 192.168.0.1 we need to enter the username and password and verification code then press the login button default to password i have attached in the description box if you are already changed the password we need to log in with the change the password now we need to do the ip reservation for port forwarding for that purpose we required mac address for finding the mac address i am opening the command prompt and typing ip config slash all if you are using ip config slash all we can identify the mac address if we are having multiple network interface we need to verify which mac address we are taking for reserving the ip then copy the MAC address. Go to LAN IPv4. Here you can see edit reserved IP address. Press that button. Press add button. Enter the MAC address and IP address. Here I am using the same IP address for reserving. Then press the confirm. Once you can close the tab. Then apply changes. Now we are completed IP reservation. If your PC is restarting, that IP will remain same. Then I am going to show you how to do the port forwarding. For this purpose, we need to go for application. Then advanced NAT. Here we can see virtual servers. Then press add button. Here you can see two options. Please select a service or custom server. Here I am using custom server. Enter the service name. Here I am using web server, so I am just entering web. Then enter the IP of server. Here I am hosted web service in the same system, so I am using the same IP address. Then after entering the server IP address, we need to press the enable button. Then use the external start ports and external end ports. If you are having range of ports, we can enter the range from starting to ending port options. Then select the protocol. If you are having UDP and TCP, you can select both or UDP only. Here I am using TCP port, so I am selecting TCP. Then enter the server IP address again. I am entering the server IP address. Then enter the internal port of server. If the internal port and external ports are different, here we need to define only the first port of server ending fill automatically. I am entering 80. So internal port is 80 and our external port is 8080. Then press the save and apply. Now our port forwarding is completed. If any time you need to delete the port forwarding, you can use the delete button after selecting the desired port forwarding. Then press the delete button. Here I am showing DMZ configuration. For enabling DMZ, you need to press the DMZ button. Then DMZ host. Then enter the IP of DMZ server. Then save and apply. If you want to disable, just disable the button and press save and apply. Now I am going to show you how to change the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. For this purpose, we need to select network. This router is a dual band router. For changing the Wi-Fi name, we will get two options. One is for 5 giga and other one 2.4. We need to change the Wi-Fi detail separately for dual bands. First I am changing the Wi-Fi name 5 giga. So we need to select network. Then select 5G. Here we can change the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi name. For Wi-Fi name we can change the SSID name. If you are enabling the checkbox of disable WLAN interface. That will disable the Wi-Fi of 5 gigahertz. For changing the Wi-Fi password we need to select. WLAN security and we can enter the new password. If you want to see the old password, we can press the show button on the right side and then save and apply. Here I am not changing the, any password, so I am just keeping. The same way we can change the 2.4 giga Wi Fi name and password. After changing the Wi Fi name and password, we need to press the save and apply button, else the settings will not be saved. Here I am not changing any Wi-Fi name or password, so I am just skipping the option. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.